Mad Dog Mad Speed World welcomes you to coverage of the last two minutes of the Rolex 24, and there's no time to waste on this intro. We're going to get right to commentating the action. GTD Pro, the battle gap is just over, or just under that two-tenths of a second. Lawrence Vantor leading Matthew Jaminet as they go down the back stretch. Exactly two minutes remain in the Rolex 24. It's Elio Castro leading Ricky Taylor in the DPI class. Colton Herda has an eight-second lead over Tito Vandergaard in LMP2. Uh, Fraga has a 93-second lead over Jacobson in LMP3, and Halen has a 13-second lead over Andy Lally in GTD. But in the new GTD Pro Series, or GTD Pro Class, that's where it's at today, as Vanthor and Jamine, two Porsches, run si or almost side-by-side side going into the infield for what could be the final time, with just under a minute 15 to go in the Rolex 24. It is still Van Thor leading. White flag is out. This is the final lap of the Rolex 24. Oh, Jaminé to the inside in the International Horseshoe. The Porsches are side by side and Jaminé's got the lead. There you go. GTD Pro, Matthew Jaminé over Lawrence Van Thor. Two Porsches. Oh, now trying to bump and run. Here comes Vanthor back in the number two car. They're going to run side by side going into turn six and then back up onto the NASCAR turns. It's still Jam It's still Jaminé in the number nine. They finally update the timing and scoring. There's an LMP3 or one, uh, one prototype car behind this GTD Pro battle on the final lap, the final time through NASCAR one and two. This is turn seven and eight on the track. Down the back stretch to the newly renamed Le Mans chicane, but it's really just the bus stop. Now they run side by side into the bus stop. They go through the grass. The two spins. Vanthor spins. It's going to be Jaminé winning. Unless there's big damage. But now cut to Elio Castro Neves in the number 60 car. He won the Indianapolis 500 with Meyer Shank this past year. And now he's going to win the Rolex 24. He's going to get a nice watch and his name on a trophy. Elio Castro Neves, DPI and overall winner of the 2022 Rolex 24 in GTD Pro. Matthew Jaminé is the winner in LMP2. We assume Colton Herta will be the winner in the number 81 car. In LMP3, we assume Fraga will be the winner. And in GTD, it is Halen, the winner. So an Acura, an Orica, a Ligier, a Porsche and a Porsche, your class winners this year in the 2022 Rolex 24. Elio Castro Neves driving the Meyer Shank Racing Acura home in the, in the, uh, uh, wow, in the Rolex 24. Oh, wow. Entry list. I'll read off all the names here. For the number 60 car in DPI for Meyershank, it's Oliver Jarvis, Tom Blomquist, the rookie, Elio Castro Neves, and Simon Pagino, your overall and DPI winners. In LMP2, the number 81, Eric Lux, Devlin G. Francesco, P Pato Award, and Colton Herta. Your IndyCar Dream Team, the LMP2 class winners for Dragon Speed and the Orica. In LMP3, the number 74 for Riley Motorsports, the Ligier JS P320, driven by Gar Robinson, Felipe Fraga, K. Van Burlo, and Michael Cooper. In GTD Pro, in the number 9, it's Matt Campbell, Matthew Jamine, and Felipe Nazar, the former Formula, uh, former Formula One driver and confirmed to be the Penske, a Penske driver for their new LMDH, or actually it's a GTP in IMSA entry for next year. That's uh, FAF Motorsports in the Porsche 911. And then in GT Daytona, another Porsche. 
Yan Halen, Ryan Hardwick, Zachary Rabichon, and Richard Lietz, an American, Canadian, Belgian, and Austrian for Wright Motorsports and, and Porsche winning in GTD. In GTD Pro, it's an Australian, a Frenchman, and a Brazilian winning in LMP3. It's an American, Brazilian, a Dutchman, and another American winning in LMP2. American, 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 Mexican winning, and in DPI, a British, a... I don't know what that is. Where's Tom Bloomquist from? This is all on the fly. But Elio goes up the fence at Daytona. Tom Blomquist, also from the UK. Elio is, of course, Brazilian, and Pagano, of course, from France. So those are your winners in the 2022 Rolex 24. Congrats to all of them. A great job, a great start, as always to a new motor racing season. This is Matthew Merlino for Mad Dog Matt Sports signing off after an exciting 24 hours. The Rolex 24 is over. We'll see you next weekend for some exciting NASCAR action with the Bushlight Clash at the LA Coliseum.